Let's get it. What's up, world? It's your boy, Ross Mack of Maconomics. And guess what? We back with another episode of just pure bag talk. So before I start, I need y'all to do me a favor, man. Help me out. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on a notification. Just go ahead, press that button down there and like, subscribe, and also turn on the notifications so we could always build this community so we can help even more people. But let's talk about it. What just happened today with Robin Hood banning people from buying companies such as GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, Blackberry, Nokia, it, it, it is just pure mania, right? And the reality is they should not have been able to do that. I think that that is going to be illegal and there's a lot that's going to be said about this. But let's actually talk about why it is so controversial. So the whole thing started, and if you guys don't know, I put out a video on this a week ago about what's going on actually with GameStop. But let me tell you why it's so important. So a chat room on Reddit, uh, Wall Street Bets, were able to very effectively, and I would actually say quite, um, quite smartly, was able to manipulate and actually outsmart Wall Street. What they were able to do, they saw that um, one fund in particular, that being Melvin Capital, was effectively short um, GameStop. And as a result, what they do, they got on the Reddit channel and everybody said, yo, let's buy GameStop. And as a result, uh, Melvin Capital had to cover their shorts, right? So they had to effectively, they borrowed shares. They had to go out and pay back the person they borrowed. So therefore, the stock went from 17 to 20, 30, 40, 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars, right? And what ended up happening is that company, Melvin Capital, had to get bailed out. Who did they get bailed out from? Citadel. Now, let me tell you why it even gets a little trickier. So Citadel, if you guys don't know, a very top prestigious hedge fund, um, but they actually, one thing that they actually went and done was that they were actually buying data from Robinhood. So I'm gonna show you how this actually web of conspiracy goes, right? So Citadel, top hedge fund, the way Robinhood makes money, right? Ask yourself, why are you able to trade for free on Robinhood? Well, because they are making money by selling your data. They sell your user flow. They sell them to people like Citadel, which is a quant fund, which is effectively able to say, oh, okay, we get a million orders of trying to buy GameStop. Oh, let me go out and now let me buy that before they do, right? And so I don't even want to get so complicated, but understand this, Citadel is the largest client or well, one of the largest client of Robinhood. Then, now remind you, Citadel also bailed out the company that everybody was laughing at, Melvin Capital. So think about this. Effectively, Citadel owns Melvin Capital now, and they are the one of the largest clients of Robinhood. Now ask yourself, is that a true conspiracy? Because what ended up happening was that maybe behind closed doors, you could be the judge, but maybe behind closed doors, it was a conversation that said, listen, um, I'm not trying to lose any more money, so don't allow your users, Robinhood. So Citadel's talking to Robinhood. Hey, listen, uh, Robinhood, don't allow any more of your users to buy any of these stocks. Why? Because it's costing me billions of dollars. So instead, only give them the ability to sell. Here's the tricky thing. Anytime that only thing you could do is sell and not buy, most investors, especially novice investors on Robinhood, they're going to freaking get scared, right? Why wouldn't you? If you could only sell and not buy, what does that mean? The price has to go down. And that's just the, the law of supply and demand, right? Right now, um, they can't buy. All they could do is sell. So therefore, the price is going to go down. Today, you had lawmakers, Ted Cruz, AOC. They all came out saying, yo, what Robinhood is doing is effectively disgraceful. It is a huge way that they were able to manipulate the market. So I want you to understand why this is a problem. Moving forward, what Robinhood stood for was allowing the, you know, effectively the actual, you know, movie or the cartoon is Robin from the rich given to the poor. Well, right now they actually just did this in reverse. Robin Hood, the app actually robbed from the poor and gave back to the rich. How? Because, and I don't know how sure, I mean, how certain this is, but Robin Hood, um, because they allowed, uh, because they banned people from actually buying this, Citadel was also able to reset their shorts. So understand this, when you look and you saw AMC, uh, BlackBerry, Bad Bath & Beyond, GameStop, all these companies down 40, 30, 50% today, guess who made all that money? The people that were short again. So understand this, the reason we were into this entire predicament was because the Reddit traders, 
um, the, the, the Wall Street bet traders were able to manipulate the system and say, wait, these guys are short. Let's all buy it and force them to actually go out, come out of their shorts and cover it and continue to raise the price up. Well, because they did that, you know, Citadel, who now owns Melvin Capital, who also is the largest one of the largest clients of Robinhood, they say, yo, we got to put an end to that. So in conclusion, I just wanted to help explain to you why that this is a huge thing, right? Uh, Robinhood is going to try to mask it and say, wait, you know, we, we wanted to ban any stock that was being manipulated by social media. We want to be able to protect our consumers. We don't want, you know, the small guys being left holding the bag. But understand this. I have friends who've lost thousands of dollars who got in on the mania, right? And the reality is if you cannot buy and you can only sell, the price has to go down. So ask yourself, who truly got hurt? By them implementing this rule, the only people that made money in this instance were the guys that were short, aka Melvin Capital, aka Citadel. And I just want to let you guys know that what occurred today, I'm sure that today is um, January 28th. I guarantee you that this is not only will they probably make a movie of this entire uh, fiasco, but Robin Hood is going to have to go before Congress. Mark my words, January 28th. Robin Hood is going to have to go before Congress, Citadel, Melvin Capital. Maybe I don't know if they find the people from the Reddit channel, uh, Wall Street Bets, but this is going to be a huge fiasco, man. But I just want to help inform you guys what's going on. But the manipulation is serious because understand this. Citadel owns Melvin Capital, one of the largest um, one of the largest clients of Robin Hood. And more importantly, they were one of the people that will also short these names. So if people can't buy these names, the stock can't go up. All they can do is sell it. Therefore, the price goes down. And anytime you're short, that means you're betting on the price to go down. So the people who effectively needed the bailout are now being bailed out at the expense of the Reddit traders, the Robin Hood traders. But without being said, man, I have more and more videos to come. Please do me a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. All I'm going to continue to do is help you guys get to the bag. Take care.